Well, good morning and welcome back to the home studio. This will probably be one of the shortest reviews I've ever filmed of the Resco Instruments Precision Press Pen. First of all, I do want to thank Resco for providing me with the pen and making the review possible. If you're familiar with Resco, you probably immediately think watches. If not, think of it this way. If a Navy SEAL needed a precision timepiece and their life depended on it, Resco is where they would go shopping. What you may not know is that they make a variety of other gear in addition to pens, some excellent folding knives that you probably want to take a look at. But we're not here to talk about knives, we're talking about pens. On that subject, when I reviewed the Phoenix T6, I mentioned that it fell short in several aspects in terms of being what I would call a tactical pen, particularly in one area, which is an advertised use case of defensive tactics. Now, at the end of that video, I answer the question, well, if the Phoenix T6 doesn't do it, and I admit there are some good options out there, what do I actually use? Well, here it is, right here. I've been using, I should say, abusing this pen now for five months straight. So this is not a first impressions review. This has been with me everywhere I go. All the reviews I did during the summer, 9700 plus degree temperatures. It's about to go through uh, the winter review phase. I suspect I'll have it out in near freezing or even sub-freezing conditions. So I may do something like a one-year follow-up video later. Now you could go to the website, read all about the specs. I'm not gonna regurgitate all of that to you. You're capable of doing that own research on your own. What I do wanna do is take just a few more seconds here and talk about some of the aspects that appeal to me personally regarding this product. First of all, the weight, the feel. This pen has some heft to it. You have these grooves here, which are very natural in terms of a finger fit. What really surprised me, I even took this out and worked it out a little bit on the heavy bag, had to put some extra padding around it to make sure it didn't puncture through. I don't want to buy a new bag for my apartment complex. But what was really interesting was this clip, the way it's designed, this holds in so well that under pressure, even if it slips a little, back and forth, it doesn't catch up or ram into or cut my fingers. In addition to being ideally suited for an overhand grip, what really blew me away is when you turn it around, put my thumb just to the side of the clip, the same grooves helped me get a very strong underhanded grip. So in terms of gripping, feel, all the things that I would use a pen for in a defensive contact, using say PPCT, for example, it's just absolutely superb. As a writing instrument, it's equally superb. One of the things I've noticed is I've given this pen to a number of people who are quite familiar with high-end pens, and they're all amazed at how well it writes. I just want to show you one thing real quickly. This is right in the rain paper. Now, most all pens will write on this, but the real challenge is leave them on their side for a few days, pick them up, then immediately start writing. Like with the Phoenix T6, it will write, but it took a while for the ink to start flowing. And then when it did, it has that feel of like chalk on a chalkboard. With the Resco, the ink starts flowing immediately. And this is just as smooth as it is on regular paper. So an absolutely superb writing instrument in addition to being good for defensive tactics. So that's why I use this particular pen as my go-to tactical pen. Of course, it's expensive, but then again, it's Resco. Take a look at it, do some research, see what you think. I hope it works as well for you as it has for me. And until the next review, as always, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching the video.